This mission. Agents, we, meaning Dr. Candle, need you to secure the Hudson Rail Yards area. The yards have become a tent city for the destitute and desperate. The people forced out of every place else end up here. <clears throat> what we're looking for is blood samples from those refugees. Clean ones, sick ones, and ones who might have survived oh, the dollar this place? Dr. Candle to work her magic on. So if you secure the site, we can do the rest. If you say so. Some fucking goldfish, man. Crap. Agent, you need to hear this. Faye tells me the cleaners are holding the entire tent city prisoner. That's what it looks like, and it fits the cleaner MO. If you wanted to eradicate every last vestige of detention, watch out for these virus, bombs, man. Where would you go? Wherever They're the biggest everywhere. concentrations are. Refugee camps, shanty towns. Jesus, you don't think they. Watch out for this train as well, because there's a shitload of them. There's two bombs. There's one there, and there's one back there somewhere. Just let the enemies, uh, just let the enemies run through it. Because like this one, you can like, you can dodge it. Good luck, agents. Oh, pfft, that was a fail. But yeah, you can dodge it if you walk up to it and roll backwards. That or you just go forward. But yeah, like on challenge mode, I'm pretty sure enemies run through here and they'll trigger the bomb for you. Uh, 
I haven't played through this game for so long. I'm used to challenge mode, they just run through the train. There should be people here, though. Morning. No? Contamination levels increase. Man, that's on challenge mode, too. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't forget what I said about keeping any infected refugees alive. I mean, obviously, you're going to try and keep them all alive. But I need those virus samples, and I really need viable antibody samples to survive them. So keep them extra alive. I guess. You know what I'm saying. I'm going back to work now. Candle out. Oh, did he die? Oh, uh, my pinky man, it's... Uh... So we're taking the back way. Can't fit. Yeah, on challenge mode, there's enemies there, and there's runners that start running at you right as you come out of the train. So it's a little different. Didn't even have enough ammo for that shit, man. These tech people have shotguns, so watch out because the uh, shotguns do a lot of damage. You do not get hit by his turret, it's quite dangerous. You just always shoot your head. Fucking hate the AI in this game sometimes. Like all they do is run around in fucking circles. Where'd that civilian go? Gun needs more ammo. Oh my god. Dude, my pinky's so sore, man. Down. I've got a joint Sarah JTF strike force ready to move in. They'll take samples from as many refugees as they can find. Medical personnel? A couple of EMTs in the mix, Doctor? Yes. A couple? As in only two? The rest are first aid certified. They know how to tap a vein. Get going, Age. Without contaminating the samples, I assume. 
or infecting themselves. Yes. You always want to prioritize the fucking guy that throws a damn grenade. Does so much damage if it hits you. You don't have to worry about it either, so. <sighs> this place could be a little tricky. Because there's not really a lot of places to... I mean, there's places to hide, but like... Yeah, this place could be a little tricky because enemies spawn right here. Which makes it difficult to actually have places to hide. Because there are going to be enemies over here, and then they spawn here. So it's pretty much kill shit as fast as you can. There really is like no other way. You know the situation, it's too late for these people here. They're dead, every one of them. But it's not too late for us. If we do what we gotta do, it might not be too late for the rest of the country. Roll that damn grenade. So go to work. Yep, see you right there. They're already coming. So, I would advise just coming up here and just just sitting somewhere up here just to stay out of reach. They should be coming over the wall, but they might be bugged out where they don't even show up until the end of the mission. That happens sometimes. This tank should almost be exploding. Don't worry about killing the boss. Kill enemies first. <laughs> nice. But yeah, I think they're bugged where they show up after. I don't know. Yeah, they died. So they were bugged out, but they do come over the wall. There's at least probably three or four of them. But there's a shitload on challenge mode. That's uh, that's that mission. Agent, if you can find the crane controls, drop that tank someplace safe. There's a phone down here too that we're gonna get. If I remember right. <laughs> sure why you would dump a fucking bomb yes, good work. on the now garbage. Oh, there's one of the guns that's really good, like the P416. Actually, a good gun. Yeah, I think I'm going to switch to it because it is a really good gun. And it's an upgrade, so... This is actually one of the scopes you want as a tech player. I don't think it can come with crit chance, but crit damage is always useful.
Okay. Hey, the comparative data you secured from the train yard. I mean, those refugees, of course. It gave us something to think about. What's up with this weird fog? In the database for you to look at. And these forced relocations, this dark zone, what is the point of that? We've already had a press conference on. I don't really care about those. All the information is out there. Anything else is classified. I don't really care about that. Um. Well, I'm 10, so uh, let's go check up on some of these places, see if I get some gear. Because at 10 plus, you should start to find blue gear in the game, and that's kind of when you want to start looking out for blue. I don't care, game. Not a lot of people come out. So hopefully, hopefully you have been selling area. all of your gear. Because you there's no point of dismantling gear in this game until later. Okay, blue shotgun. So you still don't have blue gear yet. It might be like 10, maybe 12. You'll start seeing blue gear. But I'm, yeah, here we go, blue. So blue's starting to show up. And that's actually really good. Gonna buy that, gonna buy one of these. Two of these. Let's go three, because I don't. And that's also really good, because it's an upgrade. Uh, okay, let's go check here. If you have to, to get better gear, just go to all these other safe houses. Just try not to die by the higher level enemies over here, because uh, <laughs> it's a bit scary. But yeah, just go get your safe houses before you even do anything. That's still the same. Some of these uh, only reset like once a day, like real time. Because when you level up, they're probably not going to reset. Like, the store probably won't reset. But. Oh, it's worth checking, though. Here we go. Blue. That's eight. What was the one I just picked up? Ten. Okay. Okay, so that's an upgrade for the mask. Chest piece. Upgrade. Backpack. Nothing yet. We've already gotten almost a full upgrade set, even though it's mostly green, but it'll do. It will do, because I'm pretty sure around level 12, you'll start seeing all blue gear in the shops, which is nice. Yeah, the shop vendors haven't really set, so it is what it is. Um, but no doubt, level 12, you'll, you should start seeing blue gear. <clears throat> okay, so we got this. Look at that big upgrade. Mm. Look at that, dude. Nice. That's huge. <laughs> And I think I could put... Oh, I don't even have any of those mods. Damn it. I haven't really found any good ones. Um, and I really need to get rid of this weapon. Replace it with something. Actually. I would say a shotgun. Oh, that's an upgrade. Hello. There was a vendor that was selling a shotgun, and I don't remember who it was. <laughs> I'll probably go get it. It was a blue shotgun, so I'll probably go buy that. Yeah, I just don't need those mods. Okay. So this is what we're looking at. Pushing 10Ks, that's pretty good. <laughs> 